it's eight o'clock in the morning. The sun has not come up yet. Um, last night I ate some food, I drank a bit of wine and I went straight to bed. And, uh, well, I didn't go straight to bed. I watched some Star Trek. But anyways, I'm really tired this morning, but I got to get up because it's a big, hard day. The room I slept in last night, and there's a whole lot of rooms. Most of them just have two beds and a desk. See room, room. Outside of the huge albergue. It's kind of hard to find because it's tucked away beside the gym. That's today. I'm missing the celebration. This town participates in running of the bulls just like Pamplona. Running of the bulls is one sport I have no interest in participating in. La Pisa. I spy day hikers. La Pisa equestrian trail. A lot more uphill to do on this climb. Deviating from the horse route. It is starting to rain, oh no. I'm super sad because I lost my brand new umbrella. It's raining pretty hard. I'm getting cold. Oh, I think I'm cold because I stopped. I don't know my rain gear. I even put on rain pants. In a bit of a sheltered spot, I came down from the hill and it was blowing sideways, really cold rain. I popped up on the road because it was getting muddy and I'm glad I did because there's dirt bikers going down the Camino. <laughs> Camino is on the road now. Puerto de los Blancaras. I want to eat lunch, so, and I want to eat it in the rain, so I'm going to go down to the albergue, and then I'll make the decision if I continue on today or I stop there for the night. It's raining, but it's very nice view. This has been... This has been a really nice trail. I haven't been doing much filming because of the rain and my hands are really cold so it's hard to operate the camera. Oh gosh, they're setting up for the St. Anton Festival with the fire. Um, I walked past the albergue and then I started to leave the city and then I saw that there was a bar so I'm having coffee and they're gonna have music here tonight. Ooh. But if I stay, I have to do like 35 kilometers tomorrow. It's a tough decision. Bar. Bar has so much water. And I've been invited. Right past this. And uh, bar's there. And the bonfire and music's going to be down there tonight. This albergue is five star, incredible, incredible albergue. So uh, I'm gonna choose this room because it has one bunk. It's a smaller space, once again, for my space heater to heat up. This is the second bedroom, and there is a third bedroom space. One bathroom with washing machine, toilet, bidet, and bathtub. When you come down the stairs of the house, you're in the front foyer. There is a washroom off to the side with another shower. Rare to have two showers in the albergue. A small kitchen. There's a stove top, fridge, microwave, dishes, whatever you need to cook. And then the living room lounge area. So comfy couches, fireplace, if <laughs> you want to get some wood and be really toasty warm and seating area. Map of the way, Almeria. Uh, this is Gladys. Last night I stayed in La Peza and my intended destination today was Quintar, but instead I've stopped way short over here in uh, Torcon. Holy crap. <laughs> this is gonna be amazing. Back in the bar, this is an interesting festival they have. I have a glass of wine. This is a shout out to Tara. Tara, thank you very much for the wine and the meal. Um, I ordered their combination plate and it came with a little tapas to start.
all this food, all this meat. I needed meat. Tara, let me tell you, this blood sausage is delicious. My dessert is beer. Thank you, Tara. Next up, Brazil. And. Hola. 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 Burning, but the burning is still going on. Whoa! 